Hello. <laughs> okay. Welcome to the first Halloween tutorial. <laughs> okay, it's really dark in here. Let's fix that. That's better. I can see now. <laughs> so yeah, this look is basically based on, like, anglerfish. I was just inspired by it. I've always liked anglerfish. I've always thought they're fascinating little creatures. And yeah. <laughs> um, like the one you find in the but a bit more freaky. <laughs> So the idea is obviously this is the fish and the rest of this is just black water. So come across. <laughs> so yeah, I hope this was a good one to start the Halloween series off. Halloween tutorials. Yeah, no, maybe. <laughs> and oh, um, hello to all the new subscribers. We're actually nearly at like nearly at a thousand now. We're on about nine hundred and eighty-five, eighty-six, something like that. So yay, thank you, honey people. <laughs> So yeah, when we actually get to a thousand subscribers, I'm going to do something very special. I'm going to surprise you all with something, and I can't tell you what it is because then it won't be a surprise. So, so yeah, I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. <laughs> Bye. Okay, so I've already slicked down my eyebrows. Um, I'm not going to show you guys how to do that in this video because otherwise the video is going to be really long. So um, I'm just going to put a link to one of my previous tutorials to show you how to do the eyebrows, okay? So just watch the first few minutes of it and it will teach you how to do it. Okay, okay, so now I'm going to apply um, some Pro Stick because I'm going to be using a ball cap. Um, this ball cap I've already made, I've already dyed it blue because I'm cheating. Um, but I mean you can paint latex ball caps anyway. Or if you wanted to, if you want to buy one from me on my eBay page in the link below, um, just specify you want a blue one I can make a blue one. Okay so I'm going to apply this along my hairline. Now I'm going to go over my ears for this one so I'm just going to Okay, so I'm going to let that dry and then I'm going to do another coat over the same area again and then it will start being tacky. Okay, and once, whilst that's drying, I'm going to take my ball cap and colour in the first half, basically. I'm going to, not colour in, so I'm going to put glue on the first half and then let that dry. And then I'll be able to apply. Okay, when it goes clear, you know it's dry. Just so you guys can see it, that's what, what I'm talking about, pro stick. You can use spirit gum, same thing, but it's just a bit stronger. Okay, so once it's stuck down and you've pressed it all into place, you can start by sticking the back down. Now, you basically apply a little bit to the area and let it dry and let it go tacky for a little bit. And we want to try and get this as tight as possible. I forgot to mention, I also want applied some glue underneath and let that dry at the same time. Okay, so now I'm going to tilt my head down and I'm going to pull it so as much tension as I can get and stick it. So then when I do that, we'll pull it taut. Put a little bit more underneath there. I'm making this look up as I go along pretty much, but I know roughly the shape I'm going to get. So, I mean, this whole area here is going to be the, the object, basically, and the rest of this is going to be black. So I'm going to paint this bit black anyway, so it doesn't really matter how neat it is, because black hides quite a lot. I'm still going to put latex on it to hide it. Okay, and then when I'm going to keep holding that until it's dry, and then I'm going to do exactly the same by doing the other side, and put it back like that. Okay, so hold it for about, about a minute, max, really, just to... Okay, so when you're done, it should start looking like this. So it should all be nice and neat. Okay, the back, I mean, as I said in my um, Red Queen tutorial, it's going to be quite difficult to stick it down yourself. So all I can suggest is, it, like, if you've got this tight enough, and the tension's all great, it should just be flat anyway. Um, if you can get someone else to help for me, just find a bit of glue behind your back and then pressing it down. So like that, press it and then pull in. Same as you've done with these sides, so it's taut all over. Okay, so now I'm going to take some liquid latex and a sponge, and I'm going to start applying this to the edges. Okay, so I'm just going to take a light amount of that and just dab it so it's even amounts all over the cap. It doesn't matter that it's white because it dries clear. Okay, okay, so once all the edges are covered, I'm just going to leave it for about two minutes until it dries and when it's gone clear. Okay? Okay, so I've laid it dry and I've added an extra two coats. Always make sure it dries before you add another coat to start putting latex off and you'll get holes and all that jazz. So this is my third coat now and it's just drying. So whilst it's drying, I'm going to start drawing where I'm going to put my... Well, where I'm going to put the shapes. Okay, so once I've got a general shape, it doesn't have to be neat because I'm just sketching where I'm going to put different areas. Um, I'm going to colour in the areas around my shape. Okay, so I'm using Snazzaroo Sky Blue, which is the same colour I used for 
there to colour the ball cap. Okay, so I'm just going to literally colour the seam where my ball cap is and around the areas I've, I've shaded. I sketched rather. <laughs> Okay, so now I'm going to take um, my Snazaroo black watercolour and I'm going to paint the inside, which is the mouth. Don't worry about, I should mention, don't worry about all this area because I'm going to paint this all black so it's just going to look like the head is just floating basically. So even though this is blue, it's all going to be black. So just think of the jawline where to stop basically. Okay, so I'm going to take some watercolour and just start colouring inside. Okay, so once that's done, just let it dry because we're going to do another, another coat afterwards of black, maybe two, just so it's pitch black. But whilst that's drying, I'm going to take some of my Snazaroo white and I'm going to colour in the circle. Okay, so while that's all drying, I'm going to start on my sequins. Now I'm going to do a small area at a time, just so I know where I'm going. I'm going to start by covering, instead of just doing triangles, small areas with some pro stick, really lightly so I don't take the colour off. So I'm then going to take some sequins, and like I showed in the previous video, I've got just a bag of assorted different blue coloured sequins, just all little pre colours. <laughs> and so you're going to take a couple and just lay them on top like that. Okay, I try not to get two colours next to each other because there's different shades of blues and greens really. Okay, so once you've done that, I'm going to start on the next area. So I'm just going to do small layers at a time, just so I can keep track. Okay, so I've skipped ahead a little bit because, I mean, it's fairly straightforward what to do after that. I mean, you just keep covering the areas with the pro stick, give it a second to get tacky and then stick the sequins on and they should stay. Um, anyway, I'm not done yet. I just thought I'd show you what I'm going to do. I'm leaving this area clear, clear because I've made, they're very crude, so bear with me, um, some fins. Um, I, I, they're really simple to make, but it's just a bit card and glitter really, but if you guys wanted to see how to make these properly, I can do a separate tutorial just based on how to do these. But anyway, yeah, I'm using these so I can stick them yeah, about there, and then I can go around them. Okay, now I know where I'm going to stick my fins, I'm just going to cover the whole area in the glue, the pro stick. Okay, so once it's a bit tacky, you should be able to just stick them down. Now if you're using pro stick, like I am, so spirit gum, we should, re I mean, it doesn't really matter how heavy these are because, I mean, pro stick, if it's done correctly, it can stick a chair to a wall, I think, to be honest. <laughs> but yeah, so it should start looking like that. Okay, so it's just basically covering your ears. Just press them down as hard as you can and just a little bit of pressure just so they can dry. Okay, you should start looking like that. Okay, so once you've let that dry for a couple of minutes, you should, match I mean, you'll feel that it's quite strong. If you pull and it's pulling on the ball cap, you know they're on securely. And anyway, so I'm just going to continue covering in the areas that I haven't got any sequins on, and I'm going to try and cover up the edges of these pieces. Okay, so once all the areas are pretty much covered, I'm going to take some pro stick and I'm going to apply it to the edges of the fins I've made. Okay, unfortunately that bit didn't record. Um, I literally just took the biggest sequins that I had and stuck them over the edge, and I copied the same colour, so it looks a bit symmetrical. I mean. It'd be best to do things symmetrical, I mean it's going to be difficult with all these assorted sequins, but the more symmetrical something looks, the more creepy it looks basically. Um, that's what I found in the past. Alright, now I'm going to start on the teeth. Now I'm using, I've got a little kit of random shaped nails, just really really long false nails, so like that, basically. And I'm going to cut the edges off them, so they look like this. And I'm going to do quite a few and stick them around the edges. I'm going to stop about there because I need the shapes to get really small as they get thin. But the way I'm going to do this is the same again with the pro stick. I'm going to apply some a layer of pro stick all around the outside edge. Okay, and I'm just going to let that dry, and I'll be able to once it goes clear, and I'll kind of start applying the nails. Now, I'm whilst it's drying, I'm going to cut them up 
try it. I'm just going to cut the edges off them. You can't see that really. So they look all pointy. You don't have to make these symmetrical and they don't have to be neat. I mean, the more jagged and spiky they look, the better, really. Okay, so just do about 10 of those, 10 really big ones, and a couple of medium sized ones. So, like, let's see, yeah, that'll do it. So, like, some really big ones and some medium sized ones. And we'll just mix and match them. Okay, so I'm just going to start by applying the biggest of the teeth near the middle. So you should, if you press, I mean, if you're using spirit gum, it's probably best to do a coat on the base and on the tooth. But with matte stick, with um, pro stick, it should stick quite nicely like that. Okay, and now we're doing another one. As you think about it, when you're when you're talking, these are going to be very thin, so it's probably best to actually to put a bit of layer of pro stick on the top as well. Just where the, the uh, nail meets the skin. Okay. When it comes to the ones that are going to go on your lip, it's probably best just to put a little tiny bit on your lip as well, just so it's got something to stick to when it curves under, so otherwise it'll stick your mouth shut basically. Okay, so when you're doing this, make sure to keep the tiny little bits of tooth of nail that you cut off, because these little tiny jagged sharp edges are great for just filling in the spots. Just like that, so let's go another one. Okay, dokie, so at this point you should have a success successfully angry looking fishy. Hmm. Okay, so next I'm going to take, actually, I'm going to take this brush, yes, I'm going to take a brush, quite just a small brush, because I'm going to use some of my fake blood. Um, have a look at my Blood Feast of June Bride Club kid look to, if you want to learn how to make your own blood. I can imagine I want to put that one there. Now, I'm not going to go over the board with blood, I'm just going to apply a tiny little bit so it's subtle on the teeth, so up on the edges. Okay, so I actually went in the mouth as well with the blood. I covered in all the black area. Okay, now I'm going to take the black watercolour again, and I'm going to take an angle brush, try and not load it up too much, so just so it's enough so I can make some sketchy lines. And I'm going to go around the edges of my eyes, my fake eyes, just really sketchy and straight lines. Okay, now we're blend it inwards. Don't add any more colour to the brush, just blend what you've already got. Hmm. Well, I was originally, I mean in my original little rubbish sketch that I did, I was going to have these as eyes with your eyes closed, and then I thought I'd put lines in like the juice kind of thing, the snake, so, but, I don't know, I kind of like it just like that. So might and I realise are oh, the fish's eyes. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so next I'm going to take some glycerin. Uh, it's just food, everyday food glycerin. Um, you can get in any any food shop, store, place. <laughs> I was going to pour a little bit out, really quickly. I'm going to take a sponge, and I'm just going to dip it in that. Now I'm trying to make this look all slimy and slippery looking. So think creature in the black lagoon. Okay, so then, once I'm looking all shiny, um, I am going to paint my neck area. I mean, I'm just doing this because I want it to look like an independent fish. My head is the fish, and then the rest of it's just black. But you could do something else with an outfit, I suppose, for this. But you could go out like this, but you'd be very cold. Okay, so I'm just going to paint everything that isn't my head, basically.
Okay, um, I finished the black by just putting some um, more glycerine on this so it looks all shiny. I've made the video a bit darker because it just looks more effective, I think, <laughs> with the darkness. It just looks, should look like the head is just like suspended, if that makes sense. Actually, if I sit there like that in the chair. Yeah. Evil fishy. Okay. Okay, to finish the look, I've got a small piece of, look, well, mini piece of wire, like that, okay. And I got a little tiny tube that I spray painted gold. I'm just going to literally slot that in the back of the ball cap. And I'm going to stick this more pro stick. God, this tutorial is really pro stick heavy, isn't it? No. I'm going to hold that there until it dries. So yeah, that pretty much completes the look. There's not much else I can think of doing. Um, I could do some, I mean, you could do more shading and stuff if you really wanted to, but I think it looks quite effective as it is. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So yeah, if you like it, make sure to do the thumb jobby and comment and subscribe if you want to and all that stuff, really. <laughs> um, oh yeah, and I've got a Facebook page now that you can like, so if you fancy taking a look at that and liking it, that would be awesome. You don't have to, but that would be cool. <laughs> but yeah, so I um, hope you enjoyed the tutorial, so until next time, bye, bye-bye. <laughs>